Today we're flying in the Hurricane Irma. The information we get helps better the forecast models. I haven't seen one this big, and it's been it's been years. The Air Force asked us to do this mission to go out to look for the center of the storm to find it, to determine the intensity, you know, so everyone on the coast and on the islands knows what to expect and what to prepare for. I use the equipment behind me to help pick our way through the least riskiest part of the storm environment to get into the eye and then get the data along the way. We don't have diplomatic clearance to get into the Cuban airspace, so we've got to not only stay out of the worst part of the storm environment, but also airspace-wise, I need to keep the airplane out of that area as well. Most of the data actually comes from the plane, but we get a couple specialized readings from those signs, which we'll usually release in the eye wall and in the center. One thing that we've been looking at closely is not just how intense the storm is, but also how large the storm is. Even 100 miles away from the center of the storm or more, there are still some strong winds, even hurricane force winds at flight level. So that will be very important to what impacts Florida. Whenever you see that cone of uncertainty talk about, the general understanding is that the data we get from airborne surveillance shrinks that cone of uncertainty on the order of about 30%. So that, that's why it's vital that you, you've got to get an airplane in there to get the weather instruments falling through the atmosphere. Going into the eye wall. Weather, I got two signs. They are ready to go. Very excited.